My name is Darren Fenster, and I'm the minor league infield coordinator for the Boston Red Sox. Um, last summer, I was the third base coach for the Uf U.S. Olympic baseball team, where we won silver in Tokyo. And I'm excited to be, be the Having gone to the clinic when I first started out my coaching career when it was in New Jersey back in 2006, 2007, and seeing the enthusiasm of a room full of coaches who were there to get better, um, to be in a position to now you know, be on the stage at a place that was really at the forefront of the start of my coaching career is a really unique opportunity to give back to the coaching community who has given so much. to me. What does it mean to be the best to you? There's a mindset that you never arrive. And what I mean by that is some of the best players that I've ever been around, they're constantly looking to get better, even when they're the very best in the game. They just are wired in this certain way. That, um, you know, even though they are the elite of the elite, they realize that there are still things that they could get better at. And I think the same holds true in any walk of life, um, you know, whether you're a professional athlete, a high school, in a business world, or if you're a coach, I think that desire to continually evolve, to continually grow, um, no matter where you are within your own profession, within your own peers, I think that mindset of continuing to push and never being satisfied with where you are is what allows people to not only become the best, but also move past, you know, that preconceived notion of what best is because they're constantly chasing better. What is your why and why do what you do right now? It took me a long time to understand what my purpose was behind, you know, why I'm in the coaching profession. And I think when, you know, when people first get into it, it's about the sport. It's about the competition. But once you get a little bit of perspective and you can look back a little bit and you understand that the impact that coaches have had on you was far, far beyond the playing field and the ability to impact someone's life is incredibly empowering. And, you know, I am a byproduct of the influence of many co coaches um, that I was fortunate to play for and be around. Um, it really hit me in 2019 when the coach that I played for in college, a guy by the name of Fred, um, you know, he passed away. And uh, Jeremy Sheetinger actually gave me this saying where he said, we live our lives um, in an effort to sell out, uh, to sell tickets to our funeral. And it wasn't sold out where this guy made me feel like I was one of his adopted sons. His wife made me feel like I was an adopted hill. And you get to his services and there were hundreds, if not thousands, who felt the same way. And that was a turnout, had very, very little to do with baseball and everything to do with life. And so I think the platform that you have as a coach to leave a lasting impression on someone's life is something that really at the end of the day to have that kind of an impact in the same way that I've been impacted myself. What is one of your biggest core values? I think you have a have to have a passion for what you do. Um, I think there are a lot of core values that people have, but I know that I have a passion for impacting lives. And that passion is done through baseball, where there's something about being on a field and working with players who are at the level that I was at previously, working to become big leaguers that just brings out and for me. And if you were to ever watch me go about my business on the field, you would see how much energy I have just to go to work every day. And I think players feed off of that, coaches feed off of that to the point where it's like, man, like this guy is so energetic about what we're doing that, you know, maybe, you know, whatever is inside of him, he's kind of putting into us. And I've had that on the reverse side where I've seen people have that kind of energy in different parts of the game and in different aspects of life. And that's, I would say that Having a passion for what you do is something that others feed off of in a really positive way.